Hi, this is Heidi from Garden Crossings, and we are in the Butterfly House today. And it's uh, spring was two days ago, so it's starting to warm up a little bit here in Michigan. And as you can see, the plants are starting to put on a little bit of growth. So before it starts getting too thick in here with growth, there's a few things that we're working on as solutions to problems that we experienced last year. So last year in the Butterfly House, it was gorgeous. The plants were beautiful. The butterflies were really fun. But one thing that we found out is that being in this hot environment, that spider mite and thrip became a problem and it became a problem quite quickly. Um, there's not a lot of airflow in here because we have really thick netting over the greenhouse. Uh, that way the caterpillars can't get out. But that was also a way to keep other bugs from getting in as well. We did a nice layer of mulch in here so everything was nice and finished off. Also that presented a problem as well because when we brought the wood chip mulch in that also had some bugs and critters in it that potentially became um, pests to some of the plants. So this year we're trying a solution and we're using biologicals which are basically good insects that eat the bad insects. So a couple of the things that we're trying to really target right now like I was saying was spider mite and thrip and also aphids tend to be a problem sometimes too, especially on like Escalapius. That plant just always seems like it has aphids on it. Although the aphids really aren't harmful per se, they do kind of eat at the plant and um, sometimes make the plants not look so nice. So we can't use any chemicals per se on any of the plants in the butterfly house because we don't want to harm the butterflies, the caterpillars, or the eggs. So we are taking a very natural approach to um, doing insect, bad insect management in here with using good insects. So we have um, Alyssa here today and she is going to be explaining to you some of the different things that she's using and what she's doing to try to target some of the spider mite thrip aphid issues in this greenhouse. So that way the plants are looking great all summer. For example, this tree behind me here, it had spider mite on it so bad last year that all the leaves just fell to the ground. So although this is a beautiful flowering cherry tree with a spider mite on it, it just it didn't do well and looked really poor. So if that's just one thing we can eliminate in keeping all the plants looking great, that is what our goal is. So let's talk to Alyssa and hear what she has to say um, about what she's doing in the, in the butterfly house with our biologicals. Hi, I'm Melissa, and I'm in charge of the beneficial insects in the butterfly house this year. Um, and uh, one of the things that we are using is these little sachets on a stick that kind of look like tea bags. Um, and they, they uh, actually have a bunch of the beneficial mites in them, and they all have a little hole on the top for the mites to escape. And ideally, these will release the insects for about four to six weeks. Um, and so what we like to do is to, uh, basically when we're in the greenhouses, we want to have one of these uh, sachets for each of the tray of plants that we have. So we try to kind of mimic that out here where we don't have any of the trees. Um, and basically we want to make sure that each plant has its own sachet so it has, so it for sure uh, can get some of the beneficials released onto it. Um, So yeah, uh, those mites will, like I said, they'll release through the hole and then they'll get onto the plant and then eat any of the, hopefully any of the spider mite or thrips that we have on there. Uh, one of the ways that we manage both the beneficial insects and the pests is through these yellow sticky cards that we have placed uh, just kind of sporadically across the greenhouse here. Um, they will, as you can see, they've caught a lot of the gnats uh, and some of the thrips that we have in the greenhouse. And these just kind of tell us what our uh, pest population levels are and also if they, uh, some of them will catch some of the beneficials and then we can monitor that population as well to make sure everything's going okay. Um, so we'll just place, place these on the plants that we know uh, especially are the most problematic and then just watch them that way. Uh, so these are more of the beneficials. Uh, they're mites and then we have some beetles as well. And uh, these are basically the same things that are in the sachets, but they are loose. Uh, so they basically allow for a more direct distribution, basically. Um, 
So you'll just take these and then these ones specifically go on the leaves of the plants. Um, and they target, this one is for, they target thrips and then spider mites. And then um, these ones are targeting like fungus gnat larvae and then thrips larvae that live in the soil. So instead of uh, putting these ones on the leaves, we'll go directly to the bark and sprinkle it all around the greenhouse there. Um, so before we distribute the loose material, we want to make sure that all the mites are you know, evenly distributed in the tube because these just uh, got shipped to us. So we uh, want to hit the bottom of these really gently and then just rotate until sure they're all mixed.